Okay, it's October 29th, 2010, and we're in Lawless Glenwood, Minnesota, in Lawless, Polk County, and we're going to go talk to the Chamber of Commerce about the assault that happened on Sunday, July 25th, Waterama weekend, and see what they got to say about it. Hi, is this the chamber? Yep. Oh, okay. I was wondering if you had heard about the uh, assault that happened on Waterama. No. There's a video up on YouTube that shows the assault. This is pictures that uh, show the assault taking place. And there's Larry Rice. He was there, a material witness to the assault. This is the woman who did the assault. Hey, Cody, how's it going? Good, how about you? Super can't complain on a beautiful, sunshiny day like today. Not bad at all. Yeah. Here's, yeah. here's the timeline of what happened. This is the assault, okay? On the 25th, nothing was reported. Okay, it's October 25th, or October 10th, 2010. It was put up on YouTube, and an email was sent not only to the city attorney, but to the county attorney. And this is what the email said. Okay, and this is a reply, an automated reply from the city attorney. All right. Also, if you look at the timeline here, you can see that the uh, on t October 12th the DFL unit leader Dean Paulson was contacted but mysteriously he didn't seem to know very much about it at all okay also on the 15th uh, the, both candidates for mayor were contacted and uh, neither one of them have returned a phone call and I spoke to both of them they're both both the interview well all the interviews Dean Paulson is up on YouTube the pulse of the interview with uh, what is her name here oh here's the Pope County Tribune that was the 15th they were contacted they said they knew nothing about it and didn't sound like they were interested in, in checking it out either here on the 17th here's where uh, Vicki Wolf Sodden was contacted and Bill Ogdahl alright Bill Ogdahl said he would contact the city attorney's office and uh, see what he you know see if he knew anything about it Okay, that was the 17th. Today's the 29th. Haven't heard a word from any of these people. Okay, now, like I was telling Bill Ogdahl, you people spend all sorts of money for security out there, and the one place that assault takes place is on the courthouse sidewalk. Okay, now, you start contacting all these people who are in authority. This Bill Ogdahl, he's on the city council, right? Okay. He supposedly contacts Neil Nelson, the guy who's supposedly running for county attorney who wants to make the whole county safe. And it's just this wall of silence. That seems awful strange now, doesn't it? I, I mean, I, I really don't know enough about it to be able to say mm -hmm. what's going on and what's not going on. Mm -hmm. But my point is, I mean, you're the Chamber of Commerce. You're in charge of looking out for the business interests in this county, I presume. Now, if there's an assault that takes place on the courthouse step with tons of security around, and a political figure, Larry Rice there, and all of a sudden there's this wall of silence, and no one's interested in finding out, you know, finding out who the criminal is, and prosecuting it to the fullest extent of the law, then I, got, I think there's a real problem with the rule of law here, and people are going to start to wonder if it's safe to come to Glenwood and do business here. Now, does that make sense? 
Yeah, I would think so. So I guess, you know, if, if uh, Neil Nelson, like I said, he wants to make the whole county safe, he should start by coming up with this person right here and prosecuting her to the fullest extent of the law. Seeing as how laws are supposed to be applied equally to everyone. Now, if she's a buddy with uh, Larry Rice, that doesn't give her any special privileges, does it? The question I would have, though, with regard to Neil Nelson is I don't know that he has any authority to do anything. He's, he's, a, the, he's a city attorney. No, and Neil Nelson isn't. He, he's, he's, the, he's the assistant city attorney. He, as I say, he's running for county attorney, but Belvin right. Dobert is the actual county attorney. So. Yeah, Belvin, Belvin Dobert's the county attorney. Oberland is the city attorney. Mm -hmm. This is a misdemeanor. That's their purview. They're in charge of misdemeanors and gross misdemeanors. County attorney can do gross misdemeanors and felonies. All right. The city attorney has the power of a police officer. He has the power to detect and to arrest. All right. So, like I said, here's the copy of the email showing that the city attorney received the email right there. It says, "Thank you for contacting Oberlin and Roth Law Offices and Tax Preparation. For immediate assistance, please contact via phone 634-4581." Now, on their website it says we will contact you within 72 hours of receipt of correspondence. Okay? Like I said, this is the 10th, and today is the 29th. Wall of silence. Okay? Now, uh, like I said, I guess if Neil Nelson, who is the assistant city attorney, wants to be county attorney, then I guess maybe he should prove that he's willing to uphold the law equally for everyone. Okay? I'll let you have a copy of the timeline. You can find all these pictures up on lionnews00.blogspot.com. Gives a complete timeline, gives all the pictures that were on the camera. And you can see, you know, bigger pictures. You can look at them at your leisure. And there's also videos. You can go to uh, Arrest a Judge Kit on YouTube. Or you can just type in Larry Rice, Waterama. And you'll come up with all these, all these interviews on YouTube. So you can see exactly what they say. So you, you know, so you don't have to believe what I've said at all. It's all on there. So you can see it for yourself. But I guess my point is, if it's your job to look out for the business interests, the, the reputation of Glenwood, then it's important that the lawful order is maintained. Because without lawful order, your reputation is garbage. See what I'm saying? I certainly can. Um, I don't. I don't know. I mean, usually the chamber of commerce isn't involved in this type of stuff. We refer it out to the city attorney and, well, and that kind of stuff. So, I mean, there's not a lot that the chamber can actually do besides. Contact well, them. you're concerned citizens, aren't you? Yeah. Then I guess as concerned citizens, you should be, you know, calling them up and saying, "Hey, as concerned citizens, we're concerned about the business reputation of the county." And if all of a sudden you're not going to be enforcing the laws then it's going to be adversely affecting the business community, isn't it? Well, yeah, but it's not our job to enforce the law. Uh, yeah, but like I said, you're a good citizen, aren't you? It's your job to report crimes, isn't it? You've been made aware of what's going on here. You're made of being aware of these people who are in authority not doing their job. Okay? So I guess as a good citizen, it should just be in your best interest just to contact them because if they aren't going to enforce the laws in this situation for anyone, I mean, for, for those individuals, how are they going to enforce them for you? There's no guarantee, is there? Right, no, but all, I mean, all that we can really do is, is contact them, let them know about it, and it's up to law enforcement and, and the attorneys to enforce the laws. As well, the chamber, we, we don't have any authority to do any of that. Well, what I'm saying is, you pay their salaries, you say whether you endorse them or not, and stuff like that, don't you? Okay? Because you, you have a personal interest in this, and you have a business interest in this, okay? Both are being affected. So what I'm saying is, it's everyone's responsibility to step up the plate and make sure that they do their job. You know, it's not just my job. It's just not, uh, you know, the dog sitting on the sidewalk. It's a job to do it. It's your job. It's everyone's job to do it. See? I, I certainly can contact law enforcement and make sure that they're aware of the situation and 
and let them know that you stopped in. I mean, okay. I can do that. Okay, I appreciate that. I, I can do that. Um, okay. And I can, uh, from where it goes from there, though, I don't have any control over it. But well, I, I, didn't say, I didn't say you did. Right. Right. I didn't say you did. I just wanted to make you aware of what's going on, you know, because I would think you'd want to be aware of what's going on in your own county. Have you contacted uh, law enforcement about it? I mean, I like I said, the, the attorneys have been involved, but have you contacted the actual police department? Well, the thing is, like I said, the city attorney and the county attorney are considered police officers. See, the thing is, if the police don't want to investigate, then it's up to the city attorney and the county attorney to investigate. Well, I, I don't know enough about the law to know how, how they relate to being law. Well, the thing being, is... Being police officers, but and the question I have is, have you contacted the police department? No, I don't need to, because I've contacted the city attorney and the county attorney. They are considered law enforcement. The thing is, if I call them up about a tip about a drug or about a drug house, they're going to call the police and they're going to start investigating it. And if the police don't want to investigate it, then they're obligated to investigate it. Do you see what I'm saying? So just out of curiosity, how come you haven't reported it to the police department? Because I don't have to. The thing is, these people who are involved should have reported it. Okay, he's an attorney. Larry Rice is an attorney. If you read his website, it says he's an attorney. Well, how come he didn't step up to the plate and say, "Hey"? This is an assault. This needs to be reported. So the assault itself never was reported even by the victim? No. Okay. I, like I said, I, I haven't heard about it. I haven't seen anything on, you know, looked at any of the videos or pictures or anything like that. So. Yeah, that's fine. And even from your pictures here, I can't tell exactly what type of assault it was. I mean... Well, that's the thing. You're not a lawyer. Assault. You're not a cop. I'm not asking you to do that. All I'm saying is this is the information. These are the facts. All you do is do a little bit of looking, a little bit of calling, stirring up the pot a little bit. Can I get your name? Sure. It's I just want to write it down sure. on this sheet of paper. Um, no problem. Cody knows who I am. Okay. Name is familiar. Are you? Yep. Do you work with uh, the JCs? Nope. No. Nope. Name is familiar. I've heard it before, so. Well, I'm sure Cody can fill you in. He knows more about me, so. Okay. Thank you for your time. Yep, thanks, Gary. No problem. You want your door closed? Uh, yep.